it's the budget season uh let's talk about something related to the budget we might hear a lot of economists throw around this buzzword called as fiscal prudence so in this video let's understand what fiscal prudence really means and how governments can achieve fiscal prudence so without further ado let's get started Fiscal prudence is the practice of maintaining a responsible and sustainable approach to government spending and revenue management. This is done by balancing the budget, avoiding excessive debt and making sure that the public funds are used in a transparent and accountable manner to promote the economic growth and social welfare of the country. So let's talk about things that the government does to improve its fiscal prudence. Point number one is balancing the budget. The government aims to balance its budget by ensuring that its expenses do not exceed its revenue. However, rarely is this the case in India. We've always seen our budgets in deficit which means that our expenditure is always higher than our revenues. But having a fiscal deficit is not always bad if you are spending the money for capital creation. This is un done by undertaking spending on education, healthcare and infrastructure. The second point that I want to talk about is controlling public spending. The government focuses on reducing non-essential public spending and ensuring that the public funds are spent effectively and efficiently. This is done by reducing uh, loss-making investment in public companies, which is also called as divestments of government holdings and reduction in subsidies that are given by government to people on various things. Third is increasing the revenue collection of the government. The government tries to increase its revenue by implementing measures such as tax reforms that we saw in this budget wherein the government changed the tax lapse and this helps the government broaden its tax base so that the amount of revenue that is collected in the form of taxes increases and it also tries to improve its gst collection from the businesses point number four is about evaluating and monitoring the fiscal performance the government monitors and evaluates its financial performance so that it is on track to achieve economic growth and fiscal prudence. Every year we publish a document called as the economic survey, which is published just before the budget. This talks about how the last year performance of the government was and also outlines a vision for the next year. The fifth point that I want to talk about is encouraging economic growth. The government tries to create an environment that encourages economic growth of the country and puts it on a path of development, which will result in an increased revenue by improving the GDP. And this will help the government achieve fiscal prudence. This is done by targeted increase in public spendings on things like infrastructure, healthcare, education. We as a country have our stars aligned towards progress with control inflation and a good GDP projection for the year 2023. We also have a demographic dividend of young productive population that will help us in our path towards growth. As market participants, the only two things that scare us is a lack of liquidity in the markets, in the instruments that we invest in, and also unhealthy 
corporate governance practices by some of the entities who are publicly traded in the market this causes a lot of panic selling of this shares and a bad sentiment in the market if we are able to control this aspect then we as a nation are bound to be an economic superpower in the coming few years that's it for today's video hope you like it if you did then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more such amazing finance content